Hey guys, hope everyone is well. Today we are talking Oscars. Well, Oscars fashion to be specific. This Sunday, just gone the 28th, there was a massive award called the Oscars, which is the biggest award you could get for an actress or an actress. So we're gonna be talking fashion. We're gonna be reviewing some of the looks, what we liked, what we didn't like, and you know, we'll take it from there. If you're new here, my name is Devon. I make videos on fashion, vlogs, and unboxings, and everything in between. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So up first, we have Nicole Kidman, and she is wearing Armani pre ray with Harry Winston jewelry. Do you know what? Nicole Kidman can never go wrong. She always kills it. She looks beautiful in this dress. I'm loving the draping out to the floor. I love the peplum and the puff around the waist. The color is really cute on her. The glam is very low key, but I mean, this dress is doing a lot already as it is. Harry Winston jewelry, I mean, you can't go wrong. I think she killed it. I think this is definitely a win for her. She always looks amazing and yeah, it's a win. Up next, we have Queen Latifah and she is wearing Pamela Rowland. This is a miss for me. It's giving me very big bird. I don't like the colour, I don't like the shape, I don't like the draping out to the floor. It's just a lot of material. She's got this beautiful body. I'm like, why would you not just show that off a little bit more? It's just, it looks very heavy. Material is just, it's just giving me very loose, very tent. I'm not really here for this. I'm sorry. The hair and makeup though is beautiful, so I will give her that. Up next, we have Lupita Nyong'o, and she is wearing Prada. She looks beautiful in this gold, shimmery dress with the pulled up sleeves, the high bun, thick bun, and juicy. She looks chef's kiss. I love the way it just drops down to the floor. I love the belt detail around the edge. And I think it's got these light pink flowers just like draped across, scattered across, going all the way down to the bottom. It is gorgeous. Another win for Lupita. Up next, we have Lady Gaga in Rodota. I think I'm saying that correct. Correct me if, write me in the comments if I'm wrong. She is wearing this beautiful, very light yellow, almost cream, almost white dress. It's got like a bandeau at the top and then it poofs out to the floor with the matching white shoe. She looks gorgeous. Another one killed it. Lady Gaga always looks amazing. I love the hair, which is kind of like French rolled up. Very light glam with the red lip. Let me just check that actually to make sure I'm talking right. Yes, with the red lip. She looks gorgeous. Looks like a Hollywood movie star. She's in it to win it. Even though I don't think she got the award that night. But she still looks like a winner to me. She looks gorgeous. So up next, we have Michael B. Jordan and Laurie Harvey. They were at the Vanity Fair after party for the Oscars. But I'm just going to throw that in anyway because it's still in the same bracket. It's the same event. And they are wearing Tom Ford and... Tony Ward. I mean, it's a gag. They look beautiful. Talk about power couple. Like, they've killed it. What else could they have done better than this? Lovey Harvey is wearing this, like, see through mesh structured dress to the floor with the harness, and then it's like flowering out over on one side with the light, messy bone with the light glam. And Michael B. Jordan, obviously sexiest man alive, is just doing the dumb thing as he normally is in this beautiful Tom Ford suit with a thick bow tie. The face is giving. It's giving me very power couple. It's giving me very Beyonce and Jay-Z. We are about to take over that spot. Don't tell B. Um, but they look amazing, phenomenal. It's a win. Up next, we have Kim Kardashian and she is wearing Balenciaga. I just, I just can't, I just can't. Can we just, can we just take a minute to look at Kim Kardashian, please? Who else is doing it like this? Name me one girl, I'll wait, I'll wait. Who can kill it in this beautiful blue body hugging dress that mermaids out to the floor with the black boots and the Balenciaga thick sunglasses and the hair just scraped all the way back, giving you face with the tail going down at the back. I'm done. It's a win. I love her. She kills it every single time she goes into the runway. Any award show, she has it. Like, this is it. People are going to hate, but you can't hate. You, how can you hate this? It's perfection. Chef's kiss. It's a win for Kim. Up next, we have Kristen Stewart, and she is wearing Chanel. And she also looks like a streetwalker because this is so inappropriate to go to the Oscars in. Like, why are your pants so short? Why are you not wearing pants for a start? Why is your hair so messy? Why is your glam so little? 
I, I just, I really don't understand where she's going with this look. Like, you can't even wear this to the after party. Like, this is just not acceptable. I won't even wear this to go out on a Saturday night. Like, this is just void. You lose, Kristen Stewart. This is not it for you whatsoever. I know she's a Chanel girl and she has to pretty much wear Chanel, but Chanel have so much looks they could have pulled out besides this. Like, this is not it for the Oscars. You can't even wear this to the grab. No, 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 no. Not even to the Brit Awards. Like, this is just not acceptable. Not it. Sorry, Kristen, it's a no for me. Up next, we have Serena Williams, and she is wearing Versace, and this was her second look of the night, and she actually wore this at the Vanity Fair after party. I'm gonna talk about this look because she is really giving it in this. This Versace look on her is everything. The breasts are sitting pretty, the arms are looking good, the legs are glowing, the face is giving, the short blonde hair is giving me very Victoria Beckham 2009, and I'm actually here for this look. I didn't talk about the first look because it was neither here nor there, but this is definitely a win for Serena. This is one of the best I've ever seen her, so go for it, girl. Up next, we have Kendall Jenner, and she is wearing Balenciaga at the Vanity Fair Oscar after party, and she looks... She looks... She's doing with the damn thing. She's doing what a model is supposed to do. She's got this beautiful, big, puffy, black dress on, which flares out to the bottom and fishtails at the back. It's slightly higher at the front, I think. Can see the black boots peeping out and she's just dyed her hair it's like a strawberry blonde color i know it's a low glam with the hair situation and i'm sure it was jen atkins who did the hair yeah it was and she's got this beautiful like slightly smoky eye but light glam on the face the shoulders just peeking out just giving you very collarbone i think it's gorgeous she looks amazing i'm here for it all of it i would definitely wear this look we have Olivia Coleman, a British queen in haute couture Dior. She looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. I love the draping on the arms. It's just kind of falling out. It does look slightly creased, even though I obviously don't think it is. To me, it looks slightly creased. Um, I'm not sure if it is or not. It's just the picture or the lighting. I like the swoop of the hair that's coming across she looks beautiful she looks amazing i would have liked it to maybe been pulled in slightly tighter just so i can see a little bit more body a little bit more structure because now it's kind of looking like it's going straight down so if that waistband was a little bit tighter in would have looked a little bit cuter but all in all it's, it's definitely a cute look for her up next we have tiffany haddish and she is wearing custom dolce and cabana she looks amazing this is the best i've honestly ever seen her look to be honest it's like this dark green with the black peekaboo bra the diamonds on the neck with the finger wave blonde short hair which is giving minimal glam and what else has she got she's got two rings on her finger yeah i love how the fish the small fish tail at the end the tailoring is chef's kiss it's definitely when you can definitely tell this is custom because it fits her body like a glove like it's made for her yeah, it's very cute. I'm here for it. Go on, Tiffany. Up next, we have Tracy Ellis Ross, and she is wearing custom Oscar. Oh my god. Up next, we have Tracy Ellis Ross, and she is wearing custom Oscar de la Renta. This is like a beautiful, I think it's like a, it's looking to me like a black latex, but I don't think it is. Maybe it's like a leather. It's gorgeous. Tracy Ellis Ross is always the fashion icon. She's won many fashion awards. She's got this diamond choker around her neck. It's like a black vest into a skirt, but it, obviously it's not. But that's what that's what it's giving me. It cinches her in at the waist. It flares out at the bottom. Just a simple pulled back hair. For me, anyway, I love a girl with like a simple hair. I don't like crazy fussy hair anyway. So for me, like this hairstyle is perfect. Minimal glam, smoky eye. I'm absolutely here for it. Not too much jewelry, not too much fuss, just a silent killer, basically. Yeah, this is it, I'm here for it. She was also at the Oscars for the actual award ceremony and she had this red dress on also. I'm not gonna talk about that look, that's also a win, I'll just say it right here. She looks amazing in that also. Yeah, both looks are a win for you, Tracy. Go ahead, get your flowers. Up next, we have Chloe and Halle Bailey and they are wearing Cavalli. These looks are very cute. This is actually at the Oscars ceremony. I do think it's a little bit too much skin. Call me a prude and I'm really not a prude. Like I'm all about body, yaddy, yaddy. But for the actual Oscars ceremony, I, I do think it's a little bit too risque. If they were at the Vanity Fair after party, I would be like, go ahead, go get your life. But I do like the looks. I mean, this purple look that Chloe is wearing, like is slit. The slit, is this even called a slit? Because it's going, it's going past the ribs 
like it's almost into the breast so i don't know what that is actually called but i'm gonna go with the slate I've, let's call it a v v v v v high slit it drains out to the floor with the matching purple shoes it's got like a beaded like almost a diamond around the band of the shoes the hair is giving me the hair is giving me a lot but i'm here for it it's very cute Halle is in this very light baby blue kind of corset top it kind of wraps around very very high slit also with the matching blue shoe very cohesive looks together i think they look very cute they look amazing more appropriate for the after party but that's just my opinion but still killing it girls you look beautiful up next we have Shawn mendez and he is wearing dolce and cabana i mean it's huh it's okay you could wear this to the Oscars, you could wear it to the Grammys, you could wear it to a bar mitzvah, you could wear it to a birthday party. It's just like a simple black suit. I would say the trousers are a little bit too short and I think he could have maybe come for a little bit of a wider of a trouser also. But apart from that, he looks amazing. It's just very simple. You can't really go wrong with a plain black suit, to be honest, apart from they're a little bit short. But apart from that, go ahead, Shawn Mendes. Up next, we have Wanda Sykes, and she is wearing Sergio Hudson. She was one of the hosts of the night. She did an amazing job, actually. So, bravo, bravo. She's in this beautiful white suit, tailored very well. She looks gorgeous. It really pops on the skin. I love the glam. I love the light brown hair. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's definitely a win. It's nice to see someone, a beautiful woman, in a beautiful, nice, fitting suit. She looks great. I love the white shoes. I love this look head to toe to be honest this is definitely a win she looks gorgeous up next we have uma thurman and she is wearing bottega veneta are you okay why would you do this why would you do this to yourself why would you wear such a simple white shirt and a black skirt the white shirt tucked in why would you do that you're okay you're feeling all right girl I can see what you're trying to do but it's just not reading it's not giving what it's supposed to give for the oscars it's not and Girl, I'm not trying to age on you, but it's, it is aging you. It's giving me very Mother Hubbard. And I know that's not what you were going for, but that's kind of what it's giving me. It's just very frumpy. It's a little bit too simple. The hair's simple. The glam on the face is simple. The outfit is just very... Bleh. Oh, do you know what? It's, it's not a girl, sorry. It's definitely a miss on this. And you normally pull out of the bag, but this, Uma, it's not it. Sorry, girl. For the best look, I'm going to have to give it to... I never thought I was going to say this, but I'm going to have to give it to Tiffany Haddish and Dolce & Gabbana because this is the best I've ever seen her look like. She's doing the damn thing. She killed it. She looked amazing. So, bravo, bravo, Tiffany Haddish, you win. And for the worst look of the night, I'm going to obviously have to give it to Kristen Stewart, who looks like she's a streetwalker. Like, this is just not acceptable for the red carpet at the Oscars. Like, sorry, girl. I'm, I'm happy to give you that crown of worst dress because you deserve it better look next time guys i hope you like this video and you like my fashion review obviously we all have different opinions it's only one man's opinion if you don't agree i mean sorry about it please comment down below if you agree with me tell me who your best is who is your worst please like comment and subscribe and i will hopefully catch you in the next one bye guys